field right now? You know, the field, so far we don't know who's really going to get in the race. So the field right now is, uh, you know, President Trump and uh, Nikki Haley. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see who actually pulls the trigger and who gets in. Obviously, Rod, Ron DeSantis is getting an awful lot of the attention. Uh, but uh, we've got, it's a long way before the first primary a year from now. So We also have uh, Vivek Ramaswamy has uh, entered the race, and he was pretty quick on the draw when it came to commenting on the bank issue. He's got an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal. He was out there talking about it. And then you also hear rumors that Senator Scott's about to get in the race, and Mike Pence made a few moves this weekend. What is your opinion about a large field versus a small field? Well, I'll be in Iowa with Mike Pence this weekend, and uh, I saw his comments, which I thought were really strong. I mean, I, I agree with them that uh, President Trump needs to be held accountable for January 6th. Obviously, he was there. His life was being threatened. His family was being threatened. Yeah, he made comments this weekend at and the I'm, gridiron dinner. But I'm when glad. it comes to like having a lot of candidates or fewer candidates, where are you on that? I, you know, I happen to believe that uh, we've, we should only have serious candidates that actually have the ability to compete. Sometimes people get in the race for the wrong reasons because they want to get their name known, they want to get more famous, they want to get a cabinet position or something. Um, I think uh, we need a couple of strong candidates in there and somebody that can rise up and be, uh, the, you know, be the alternative to Donald Trump. But I'm not sure who that is. And, of course, everybody has a right to consider running. But if they don't have a real shot, they should probably reconsider. You're going, be, you're going to be in <laughs> Iowa with Pence? Yes, 